The following video describes steps to access and de-access the PowerFlow implantable apheresis IV port. This demonstration is intended only to provide an overview of the BD PowerFlow implantable apheresis IV port. The instructions for use should be consulted to understand all required steps. Please consult product labels and package inserts for indications, contraindications, hazards, warnings, cautions, and information for use. Prepare the following materials for access. Locate and identify the port via palpation. Place your finger on the high point of the device to identify the top of the funnel. Palpate the funnel, which should feel concave and hollow. Prepare access materials, including a primed extension set. Clean and prepare the access site per manufacturer's instructions or institutional policy. Stabilize the port with non-dominant, sterile gloved hand and palpate the funnel. Using a shallow angle of access, insert the needle into the funnel and slide it to the stop. Separate the needle from the IV catheter hub by pulling the needle slightly away. Advance the IV catheter completely, continuing to pull the needle slightly away as needed. Withdraw the needle and engage the safety. Immediately attach the extension set. Aspirate for blood return and flush with normal saline. Securely dress the site and proceed with treatment protocol. Folded gauze used to support the catheter hub may help with optimizing flows. Following the treatment procedure, flush with normal saline. Perform locking procedure and withdraw the IV catheter while flushing continuously to help reduce potential for blood backflow into the catheter tip. After IV catheter removal, apply pressure if bleeding occurs and apply dressing per hospital protocol.